Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. I will confess, I kinda hate one thing about default filament. And in this video I will show you how I customize one thing almost immediately after installing filament in new projects. So, when you create a new record in whatever resource, what does it do after create? It stays on the same page, on the page of editing the same resource. But in most cases, I do not want to edit that immediately. In most cases, I add a new record and I need to go somewhere else, probably back to the table of records, to the index page, to maybe add another record or do something with that table. At least that is my experience from like human perspective, not in the filament directly. And what does it do after you edit something? You save the changes and what? It stays on the same page. How many times do you need to edit things twice? Again, in most cases, it should be more logical to redirect to the table of records. And we can, of course, customize it. This is one of the first things that I mentioned in my course on Laravel Daily Filament 3 from scratch. So when creating the new product resource at the very end, I'm showing how to customize the redirect after we add in fields, customize, yeah, this one. Customize redirect. So we can change that default behavior pretty easily. So every resource has create product and edit product, for example, pages, and we can just override get redirect URL. For example, if we do that here in the create question, for example, in that example that you saw on the screen, so create question should get redirect to URL. And the same with edit question, I just override that function and redirect to index. So then if I edit that, I save changes, and then I am in the table. When I add a new question, again, I'm redirected back to the table. Great. But what if you want to customize that globally for all the resources, for all the CRUDs? Unfortunately, I haven't found any global solution for that in Filament, no setting or anything. But here's kind of a workaround that I suggest. So every page in every resource extends edit record or create record, this. So we could create kind of intermediate global classes like create record and redirect to index or something like that. And then in those classes, we could extend that method, override that method for all future resources. So for example, let's create app filament, new file, and for example, create record and redirect to index. I know it's a long name. You can choose whatever you want. So namespace app filament class create record and then it should extend create record from filament. And this is where the magic will happen. So in create question, we don't need that get redirect to URL. We put that inside of our new class. And then in the create question, we extend that create record and redirect to index like this, not the create record from filament. And let's test if it works. So we add a new question, something, something, create, and yeah, we are redirected to table. In the same manner, you can do edit record. So let's do file save as, edit record and redirect to index. We should extend edit record. So we don't need that one anymore. And that's it. And then in the edit question file, again, we extend edit record and redirect to index and remove that get redirect URL. Okay, let's try that as well. Edit some question, something, something, save changes, and we are back to the table. So now you have a separate class to extend for those resources that you want to behave like this, that you want to redirect to the table instead of the default filament behavior. All you need to do after make filament resource, go to those pages and change what they extend. Filament internal edit record or our own edit record and redirect to index. This approach also allows flexibility because maybe in not all of the resources you want that behavior, because maybe that would be a surprise for future developers on the project, you just specify what to extend in which resource. What do you think about this approach? Would you have done something differently maybe? Or maybe I missed something in the filament settings or customization? Let's discuss in the comments below. And by the way, this example, that question list with questionnaire comes from our filament example. So if I go and search for questions, yeah, so quiz questionnaire with wizard steps with possibility to manage the questions on the back end. You can get the source code if you purchase the full filament examples package. I will link that in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.